My name is Fran Drescher. I'm a cancer survivor. I feel like I got famous, I got cancer, and I lived to talk about it. I was on a two-year eight doctor odyssey in search of a diagnosis for my symptoms, which were classic uterine cancer symptoms, but everybody thought that I was perimenopausal. And even though I was put on four different HRTs, hormone replacement therapies, nothing really was helping me. Then uh, the doctor, while she was doing an endometrial biopsy, which doctor number one had said I was too young for, and instead of me saying, well, why, what would that prove or disprove, I was just so thrilled to be too young for anything, I didn't question her. But in fact, by doctor number eight, that was a very test that diagnosed me. Three days later, she was calling me and saying, I'm, I'm very surprised, but you have adenocarcinoma. And I said, what's that? And she said, uterine cancer. A doctor tells his patient he has good news and bad news. The gal says, well, what's the good news? And the doctor says, you have 48 hours to live. And the woman says, if that's the good news, then what's the bad news? And the doctor says, I was supposed to tell you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people are finding out today that they have cancer when they should have been told yesterday. The moral of the story being, we have to become better partners with our physicians. There is no cure. How do we reverse that? How do you get people really understanding that early detection prevention is really the key to survival? Cancer Schmancer is the idea that let's take stock of what we've been doing to tackle cancer in the U.S., which is totally focusing on finding a cure and millions of people are still dying all the time and switching that to let's focus on how we can prevent cancer and teach people to find it early. One of our big platforms is moving people from passive patient to active consumer. Uh, what is it to be a medical consumer? What is it to ask the questions? Usually a doctor says, oh, you're fine and you're going, I don't feel good, but okay, that's fine. And you don't push back even though you, you know it. And Fran teaches us, listen to your inner whispers. When you're faced with these kinds of dilemmas, it's, you just want someone to take, you, take care of you and to take you to the next step and make it all better. But you've got to take charge. You've got to, to look inside and say, do I, do I feel right about this? Is this me? Is this what's happening? You know, do I feel right about what's being told to me? Because you can go along and play along but it's not necessarily going to be right for you. Of the revolutionary thinking of Cancer Schmancer is to empower women to realize that when they put their own health first, they're not being selfish, they're being selfless because they're useless to their family if they're six feet under. Cancer Schmancer stands behind the diagnosis of cancer at the very earliest stage and prevention of cancer so that we can take the cure rates of cancer from between 50 and 60 percent all the way up to 95 percent, something we all dream about and is possible today. The Cancer Schmancer's mission motto is stage one is the cure. If everyone we loved was diagnosed in stage one, almost everyone would live. One of the things about looking for stage one cancer is that is when cancer is most treatable. So the question becomes, so what could you do to really make sure that people don't die prematurely? The answer is, have treatment that's really very effective. When is treatment most effective? When you diagnose cancer early. How can you get to cancer earlier? A lot of it has to do with education. We have to be more proactive. Uh, the same attention that we put into our car for the buying, selling, or repairing of our automobile, we need to put into our bodies. I don't give anyone power of attorney over my money, so why should I do it over my body? I shouldn't, and neither should you. When I found out I had my cancer, uh, it was at the fourth stage already, and uh, I don't want anybody to be shocked like that. So I think anything that women and men can do to support what uh, Fran is spearheading with Cancer Schmancer uh, will benefit everyone.
Nearly 80,000 American women are newly diagnosed each year with approximately 29,000 deaths from these cancers annually in the U.S. Fran's incredible contributions to saving women from uterine cancer by education and early detection is a tribute to her character. When you bring a, a message of this importance forward, you want people to really listen to the meaningfulness of this to an individual. You want a person to know, gee, this cancer could affect me. And you need someone who comes with a good voice and a good story, and Fran's story is so remarkable. You know, she's able to take some pretty heavy topics and say, look, you know, I got famous and I got cancer, now I live to tell about it. And by sharing her story, she's able to inspire others to really, to do more with, with her celebrity. So you have a way of turning a message that's very health conscious and beneficial into something that the public can identify with through personality and then translate the message. She has the energy, the passion, and she exudes the leadership that she really has used to channel this organization and move it in a great direction. She's able to speak to women of all ages and all strata of society and make them understand their own empowerment and what's necessary for them. One of the revolutionary aspects is to re-educate and rethink of ourselves, women, as the center of society from which all else ripples out. Right. Thank you. Cancer Schmanza is more of a movement than, let's say, an organization. It's about social change. The message in social change is around a health message. There is a strong theme of healthy women, healthy mothers give rise to healthy families. Healthy families have healthy children. Clearly, it's about mobilizing women, both at the grassroots and also um, you know, not just locally and at the state level, but, but nationally and potentially globally. Her appeal is universal, and her sweetness and her decency and her intelligence are widely appealed all throughout the, the world. You really do believe that uh, given her uh, profile and the fact that people recognize and listen to her, then the depth of the message is there as well, so I think there's a real opportunity to affect change. It's a movement that will change the lives of everyone with whom it comes into contact with, and moreover, it's a movement because what it's already begun to yield isn't just improvement in the lives of a handful of people, but true, fundamental, transformational change. One of the most innovative things that we've done here in the last uh, year or so involved the creation of what are known as Fran Vans. These are 11 vans that tour all over the state of California at any given time and basically bring the Cancer Schmancer mission to towns and cities, you know, all over the state. I firmly believe that people need to rally around something that's positive, something that has the potential to engage people in thinking about what is possible. I think it's really important for a woman to follow Fran's lead and, and question, be, be smart, research, look into, you know, be an educated patient. Fran has got a hold of something here that is going to make a big difference in how we look at cancer, in how we approach cancer, and hopefully how we put an end to it. It's bringing this story through to women, to men, to children, so that cancer becomes less of a problem, something that doesn't affect us in our lifetime, and that if we get it, we can take care of it. Life offers you challenges, and what you do with it, and how you grow through it, and what becomes of you as a result is what makes all the difference. You know, I feel very blessed because it's given me uh, a purpose and a meaning to my life that I wouldn't otherwise have had. Now let's ensure that all women with cancer are diagnosed in stage one, when it's most curable. Join us in the Cancer Schmancer movement. Stage one is the cure. Stage one is the cure. Stage one. Stage one. Stage one. Stage one is the cure. Stage one is the cure. It's just cancer, schmancer, who cares?